today we're going to make a modern drink, the Smoky Grove. For this drink, you're going to need a coupe glass, a measuring cup, a bar spoon, a Hawthorne strainer, a mixing glass, a cutting board and a small knife, and matches. This drink uses heavily peated scotch, sweet vermouth, dry vermouth, orange bitters, aromatic bitters, and a flamed orange peel for garnish. This is a modern twist on a classic Rob Roy created by Jonathan Pogash, a bartending consultant known as the Cocktail Guru. It was created in 2007 at the Bookmarks Bar in the Library Hotel when writer Jonathan Forrester asked Pogash for the cocktail equivalent of an omakase. Pogash started with the template of a perfect Rob Roy, added more bitters and a flamed orange peel, but more importantly, put the emphasis on a really smoky base spirit. The original Rob Roy was most likely made with the more mild-mannered doers. I usually like making a Rob Roy with a scotch that has a bit of smoke, but this is on a whole new level. Forrester did a write-up on the drink, and Jim Meehan loved it so much he made it an after-hours crew drink at the PDT, and also put it in his book. The original recipe called for Laphroaig, and double the amount of bitters. However, I'm using Meehan's recipe. He opted to swap out Laphroaig for the Peat Monster, the smoky sidekick from the penicillin, and lowered the bitters to one dash each. These bottles are the exact ingredients, with the exception that Meehan uses his own house blend of orange bitters, which is equal parts Fee Brothers and Regan's. I'm just using Regan's, but feel free to recreate the blend at home if you really want some extra credit. Despite the enhanced level of smokiness, the drink is strikingly balanced. Every ingredient gets its time in the sun, from the smoke to the vermouth to the bitters to the caramelized orange oils, and they come together with a complex vibrancy that's hard to rival. Let's start by chilling our glass, fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next we're going to measure two ounces of smoky scotch, add that to the mixing glass, measure half an ounce of sweet vermouth, add that to the mixing glass, measure half an ounce of dry vermouth, add that to the mixing glass, give it a dash of orange bitters and a dash of aromatic bitters, add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your coupe glass, then strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled cocktail glass. Slice a good hunk of orange peel. It's actually better in this case to leave a layer of white pith on the back. It'll make it sturdier when it comes time to flame it. If you're using matches, strike your match and let the sulfur burn off. Warm the skin of the orange peel with the flame and give it a good hard pinch to express the oils over the drink. Then place the peel on the drink for garnish. And there you have it. The Smoky Grove. Enjoy. Click here for more videos, be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.